Hello guys, this is Nick from HF Survival School. Thank you very much for joining me. At last I am back in the woods and today I'm not alone, I have a guest with me. Lucas here, say hi Max. <laughs> so today we're gonna have some fun. So now Max is giving me the poor tired dog's eyes. The shelter is ready and I will start the fire because I am hungry as Yeah, and it is great time to lick your balls. <laughs> Safety first. Got me this new awesome kettle from a company called Uberleben. I was in this cool couch where, as you see, Uberleben. It opens up this way and you tighten it down like this. And I can say that. This is the most high quality kettle I have ever had in my hands. The stainless steel has paracord wrapped around the handle 
has a wooden uh, uh, handle for the lid, as you see. Man, it is very sturdy and can't wait to try it out. Also got this awesome Kuxa, also from Uber Leben. It is very high quality, made from hardwood. And I just love it. Compared to my other Kuxa, which you have seen in the previous videos, it was brought to me by my cousin from Finland. It is like insanely higher quality. And you can really feel it. Can't wait to break this bad boy in today. Me and Uncle Max are chilling over here, taking a rest under my Polish Lavu. This is my uh, first outing with it. I ordered it from uh, the UK. Uh, I mean, it was not that expensive to order it, but to ship it over here to Georgia, it almost cost like arm and a leg. So, huh. uh, the auction which I made funded uh, this um, uh, tarp. So now uh, it's getting a little bit warmer, but it is still season of a hot tent over here in the mountains, in high mountains. So if I'll be able to afford the uh, small kind of DIY uh, uh, wood stove, I will make a video about that also, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm waiting for the water to boil to make a <coughs> cup of tea. And I'm waiting for the coals so that we can cook a steak. I brought the last piece of meat from the moose which we hunted the last year uh, in Belarus. If you have not seen that video, please uh, click the card and check it out. It was an amazing adventure. So I had the last piece of meat in the freezer and thought what would be a better way to uh, cook it uh, than with Max over here and with you guys. So. I look very forward to it. Considering drinking it at home doesn't count, this is my first time drinking from the Kuksa in the outdoors. Cheers! Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea after a very long hike. Today I really had a rough day, man. When First of all it started when I woke up like two hours later when I was in what I was planning because I forgot my alarm clock. Then I, because I wanted Max to be with me, I had to go to the, the other side of the city. I went there, met my father, uh, I took his car, put Max in it and then I realized that I have a flat tire. Man, I was already cursing. I changed the tire to the replacement, but the replacement is really those kind of small kind of tires. Uh, I don't know, they uh, put that in to save on uh, space or something like that. But uh, I couldn't uh, drive up here with that. So I had to go to the um, uh, workshop, make the tire fixed. There was a nail in it. Then they fixed my tire. Then I realized that I forgot the uh, the, you know guys, uh, this uh, camera is at mine, I am I'm, I'm filming it on my cousin's camera. So yesterday I took the camera and the tripod and then I realized that I don't have the adapter that connects the camera and the tripod. So uh, then I went to my cousin's place, got the adapter and came up here. And when I thought that was it, uh, when I was hiking up here, I realized that I didn't have any water, so instead of 
uh, a one hour hike I had to take the three hour hike to get the water to get to the water source and then I stopped at a uh, at a tree I put my knife on it and uh, take a picture of it to put it on Instagram you know inst hashtag Instagram life so and then I continued but I, after like one kilometer I realized that I forgot my knife there so I had to hike back the hike back down take the knife and come up here now it is like half past six I have like half an hour of daylight left I think this sacrifice of mine of the whole day deserves a one thumbs up from you so go down below and give uh, me and Max a thumbs up So guys, just like that, the steak is ready as you see, now let's give one piece to Max. Max. Cool. It's a bit hot. You almost took off my finger. Man, I mean really, that feels amazing. You know, when you prepare the food by yourself in the woods, the animal which was harvested, not by you, but next to you, it tastes 10 times better. Plus it is wild game, you know, it is all organic not those bad stuff that uh, they grow on the farms and God knows what they, what kind of chemicals they eat and stuff. This moose was running wild and was eating everything healthy. And that's why it feels just amazing. Here you go, Max. I will be thankful if you don't bite off my fingers as well. Now that the fire got down, the coal bed is left and now it will slow cook it very good and it won't be burned anymore. Got the tea boiling again. And we have a little bit more when we finish the steak. Yeah, this piece is for Max. These two are for me. After I took it out of the freezer, I let it melt and then I put in some vinegar some sauces some salt and pepper and now it has amazing flavor man i have a long long way home i have to hike back 10 kilometers until my car then i have to take the car to my father's place with max and then get back home clean everything and then take a rest so but it was well worth it for sure, without a doubt. It was just amazing. It, 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 it tasted even better than uh, when I cooked it at home. Okay, okay, I'll give you one more.
<laughs> Me and Max over here just finished eating. Now I'll finish my tea. And then I will be heading home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you will help me very much by sharing this video on your social media. If, if you want me and my boy Max here to do an overnighter video, then comment down below and tell me. I plan to do a new video every week, so keep your eyes open and make sure to click that bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Max, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Max. Max, Max, <laughs> I just love this guy, man. Made this beautiful custom order. This ferro rod with the reindeer antler and brass hand carved bald eagle. Ain't that a ferro rod that all Americans should have or what? So if you want something like this, you can contact me on my email or here or wherever you want and I'm sure I can make anything what is in my possibilities. I just love it.